And then I was like, dude, I'm literally a jock. Why am I going to get a C in PE? And it says because it's, I, I was a bad sport or something. I mean, Jack, you do get pretty competitive. Like, come on. Literally, Bryn was in that class too, and she was somehow getting an A+. Speaking of Bryn, where is she? Does she know school is about to start in like five minutes? You know her, she's always late. Well, I need to go talk to one of my teachers, because my group, they do absolutely none of their work. But we're doing some English assignment, and none of them have put in a single effort. I've been carrying the team. You know, I hate it in group projects when, when people never do their work, and they always slack off, and then you end up doing everything. I know, I've heard this rant like, what, ten times already? Well, then you should know that I'm going to go talk to my teacher and demand extra credit. Or something, or I don't know. Ugh, group projects, man. Hey, Jack. Oh, McKenna, hi. Hi, I was just wondering, um, well, I came over here to tell you about our biology project. Yeah, we did the whole lab wrong, basically. I went and talked to Miss Asher this morning and she was saying how our estimate was outside of the margin of safety. So we made an error in our lab and she's giving us time to make it up after school today um, in order to get a better grade because right now we're gonna get a bad grade on it. So I was just wondering if you were available after school since we're lab partners if you wanted to come in and help and so we can improve the grade. Oh yeah that sounds good. Thanks for telling me. I could not get anything lower than a D in chemistry. You know a C is at least passing you know. <laughs> I think you mean biology. Oh, uh, man. Okay, you know, my brain is just, it's a mess right now, so I'm not thinking straight. <laughs> I can relate. Well, see you then after school. Jack. Bryn. Thanks for matching my enthusiasm. Did you know you were almost late to school? Yeah, I missed the bus and uh, I had to run here, but I am here now and I made it on time. Barely. I remember in eighth grade, there was a week where you missed all five days of school catching the bus, so you had to run, or you just skipped school, or your parents had to drop you off, or I remember my dad one time picked you up and dropped you off. Okay, okay, we don't need to visit memory lane right now, okay? I have a present for you. Open it right now. Okay, okay. Geez, good to see you too. How do you do on this fine Wednesday? No way! This can't really be the same plant, right? Happy seven year anniversary. Sorry, what? Seven year anniversary? Have we really been married that long? Seven year friendship anniversary. Remember we met in sixth grade? Oh my gosh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Your braces, man. I remember picture day. Your whole face was swollen because you just gotten them. As I said, we don't need to revisit memory lane, but do you know what this plant is from? Yeah, yeah, we were partners in science class and that's how we actually met, technically. And then we had to grow plants and it was about, what was it, photosynthesis or something like that. And then you made a nice little panda paw for it, it looks like. And I figured I've been taking care of this little buddy for a very long time. And I am going to pass down the responsibility to you because I know he will be in very good paws. Oh, it's an honor. I would love to take care of this little dude. Oh, sorry. Well, this was very nice. I'm not gonna put him in my locker because he will suffocate and not live. So I will carry him to class and proudly explain everything about this little dude. You know, it's so fitting that you gave me this little plant today because it just shows that friendship is a two-way street, you know? It takes two ends to make a friendship work and for the friendship to grow, much like this plant here in this pot. And together, it can create something lovely, a budding friendship, if you will. And so I think that this is such a beautiful moment and that you really thought that- Okay, you're thinking this out way too deep, Shakespeare, okay? Well, this is not some English class. <laughs> so Cleo and I, we're gonna go to the mall just down the street because there's this new dumpling restaurant that opened up and it looks mm, absolutely delicious and we actually got a reservation for it. So you in? <laughs> Dude, you know, I would literally any other day. It's just, oh man. Okay, I have to do a lab project. Um, I have to make it up with McKenna because we apparently did it wrong and I need to get a good grade in the class, so. Dang, dude, you're really missing out. Have fun being a nerd and all. <laughs> Happy seven years, bestie. <laughs> all you need
need to do is just make sure that this titration has the proper effects because we missed that last time and then we just need to jot down our observations and see if it well you know matches up with our hypothesis and then write a report on that and that should be good hmm interesting hmm interesting excuse me are you mocking me miss what no of course not <laughs> Oh, really? Because it sounds like you're a little joking to me. A little joking? <laughs> okay, you need grammar help too. Try using Grammarly! Oh, no, not Grammarly! I mean, no, Grammarly is great. It gets me through all my essays, okay? Say, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's that little plan over there? That's not part of our experiment, is it? Oh, this little guy? No, no. He used two brushes. This is a plant that uh, my best friend and I planted back when we first met in sixth grade for part of our experiment and he's still alive and thriving uh, that's adorable yeah yeah seven years <laughs> he's your best friend her name's Bryn she's a corgi no way okay I always thought that you and Bryn were boyfriend and girlfriend Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's a common misconception a lot of people get. <laughs> We're practically a brother and sister, so I don't see her like that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, well, um, I, I, I have something to tell you. Um, did we do the lab room again? I have something I've been wanting to tell you, actually, then. What's up? Um, so, you know, I really enjoyed being your science partner this year, and it was really nice getting to know you, and now, since I know you two aren't together, I can finally say how I'm feeling. Jack, would you like to go, like, get ice cream or coffee or lunch together sometime? Um, yeah, that actually sounds pretty good. Maybe this weekend? Yeah, that works. Come on, vending machine, work! Darn thing always gets jammed. Here, let me help you. Hey, Jack. Sometimes you just need to whack your textbook on it. And that is how it's done. Jack always saving the day. <laughs> Little plant dude still chillin'. I'm honestly surprised you haven't killed him yet. Anyways, what are your weekend plans? I think Cleo and I, we were planning on hiking up to the waterfall and, you know, looking at the waterfall. The water falling, you know, literally. It's why it's called a waterfall, so. Oh, yeah, so crazy thing. Um. Basically, so you know my lab partner for science, um, McKenna? Oh yeah, McKenna, how's she doing? She was that new girl at the beginning of the year, right? Yeah, yeah. So anyways, she asked me to go get lunch with her this weekend, so I'm not sure what day that's exactly <coughs> happening, or... <coughs> <coughs> uh, uh... Sorry, <coughs> just went down the wrong pipe. You got asked out? Well, when you put it like that, it makes it sound like a date. Jack, that is a date. Like, come on, dude. Uh, when a girl says that, or when anyone says that, y you know, it's just common sense, sort of. And, okay, you know, it's fine. It's basically like her wanting to test the waters to see if dating you could potentially be a good idea if she wants to pursue this relationship, just to get a little bit more about you and your knowledge and uh, who you are as a person. Huh. Well, who wouldn't like me as a person? You're so impossible sometimes, you know that? <laughs> Relax, I'm only joking. So I'm guessing that's a no on the hike then. Unfortunately, not this weekend. So you like her? Like, you think that you and her could be a good match, possibly? I mean, yeah, she's super nice, super friendly, and she's smart, and she's really pretty, and... I just like the way she treats people, and you can tell, just tell she has a kind heart, and, well, she's just really nice to be around. That's good, those are, those are all really good qualities. 
Jack! Oh, hey, McKenna, what's up? Hi, Bryn. I, I just talked to the teacher and she gave us an A. No way, she already graded it that fast? Well, yeah, it was just a minor tweak I had to make to the report, but we got an A. And she said we were like one of the only students in the class that got an A, so high five. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I need to tell Cleo about what happened today. Uh, hello? Hey, Cleo. <laughs> What's up? You aren't sleeping yet, right? No, actually, I'm just sitting in the dim lighting of my kitchen, staring at a tin of sardines and have my vanilla bean frappuccino from Starbucks right next to me. Okay, great. Well, hold on to something because I have to tell you some really big news and it's about Jack. Okay, well I have nothing to hold on to, so I'm just going to hold on to my sardines and my Starbucks. I was talking to Jack in the hallway today, and guess what happened? No, stop! I was actually thinking about when I would ever see this day happen, but he got expelled. Or suspended. What? N no! Oh, then I have no idea. He got asked out by McKenna, his science lab partner. <coughs> That's literally exactly what I said! So he's going to date this girl. Isn't she new or something? Yeah, they're going on a date this weekend. And I know I should be happy for him. <laughs> like, of course, I'm a supportive best friend. That's who I am. And as his supportive and protective best friend, I'm just a little skeptical about this whole situation. I mean, sure, she's super nice and all, and she's super kind, and... You know, there's really no issues with her. She's not mean to anyone. But it's just like almost one of those things where it's like too good to be true. And you're like, hmm, is something really missing here? Am I really getting all the data I need? Or am I just blindsided towards who she really is? Okay, girl, I don't think you need to go that much Sherlock Holmes on her. I mean, she's just a normal student like us. Oh, yeah, I, I know. I'm not going to like interrogate her or whatever. It's just uh, like... I just need to be sure that, you know, Jack's feelings are protected and that he doesn't get crushed in the end. Because, you know, sometimes things can be too good to be true and it's just like, you know, like, just like, you know, and, you know, they're too good to be true and I don't want him to be hurt and I just, you know, yeah, that's all I'm really doing here, so I'm just, yeah. Bryn, you know that Jack can take care of his own feelings, right? He's old enough, and he's mature enough, sometimes, and he's somewhat smart, so... Yeah, no, I know he's capable of such a matter, it's just like... I don't know, it's just something... I don't know. You know what this sounds like to me? Jealousy. You're jealous. <laughs> jealous of what? Jealous of the fact that somebody beat you to him. You two have been friends forever, and sometimes within that seven years, someone has to opt to catch feelings for each other. You like him, don't you? <laughs> Ew, Jack, no, 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 I, no, 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 I don't like him. Ah, oh, yes, stage of denial. You definitely like him. No, Cleo, you're absolutely wrong, okay? You know, I am just going to go to school tomorrow and just ask a few people what they really think of uh, McKenna and you know, just to get some insider information. This is just my duty and my job and I am just fulfilling this job. So anyways, I hope you have a wonderful night, Cleo, and um, I will see you tomorrow, bye. Yep, she definitely likes him. Hi, I'm in a stats class and I am just collecting data and your thoughts about one particular student, in particular. Uh... Have you heard of McKenna? She's a senior, and she's a cat, and she is absolutely gorgeous, and... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, McKenna! Oh, she's awesome, man. So true! She helped me with my math homework last week. I love her. She is so kind. Yeah, I was feeling totally insecure one day, and she just totally complimented me without me even saying anything. It's like she knew I was feeling insecure or something, and oh, oh, man, that just made her so attractive. Uh, right, okay, well... Hi, what do you think about McKenna? Uh, 
she is so sweet. She literally bought me lunch the other day because I forgot mine at home. Like, oh, she's the kindest soul. Like, bless her. Bless her. Oh, she is amazing. Yeah, I heard that she serves at the soup kitchen every single Monday and Wednesday. Like, what a kind soul that is. Like, oh, if we could only be more like her. Yeah. I accidentally sneezed on her once and she said it was okay and that she forgave me. Like, who else would do that? You know, if I did that to somebody else, they would give me a swirly in the toilet, man. Like, <laughs> man. She once said hi, Jeremy. And I'm like, wow, she remembers my name and I am known at the school and I'm not invisible and... Oh, your name is Jeremy. Okay, I thought your name was Wilson or something. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. Oh my gosh, McKenna, slay, queen, slay. Oh, McKenna, she would give the shirt off her back for somebody on the streets. That's how that saying goes, right? Yeah, I heard that like every week she like bakes little treats and gets toys and stuff and then gives them to the local animal shelter for all the animals in need. Yeah, I heard that she built fresh water wells like in another country and I thought that was so cool. Like we need more people like her, you know? Honestly, pause down. I think McKenna is the coolest student in this school. She is the nicest. She has no bad beef or no bad blood with anyone. Oh, yeah, McKenna, right on. Dude, she is awesome, man. She stands up for what is right and, oh, McKenna, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, so I'm just wondering your thoughts about McKenna. Are you asking what I think of her? Well, I think she's beautiful. I mean, those eyes, oh, yeah. And oh, just everything about her is just like, wow, I want to date that girl. I, she's my dream girl. She is a literal queen, man, and I can be her Prince Charming. And okay, okay, yeah, yeah, we heard enough. Okay, next, next. <laughs> oh my gosh, McKenna. <laughs> I love that girl. <laughs> she's my favorite cousin. And that's what I was trying to tell you, man. You don't need to dig up dirt on anyone. Like, come on. I know, literally no one in the school had anything bad to say about her. <laughs> and I, I just don't know. And so that's why I'm afraid I, I, I messed up my friendship with Freddie. And that's okay. Let's go get you cleaned up in the bathroom. See what I'm saying? She's a literal princess. But there's nothing wrong with her. Don't go looking for drama because there was no drama needed to be started anyways. You're jealous that they could become a thing and you're scared that that might ruin your friendship and part of you has always liked Jack and you know that's okay because feelings are real yeah but it's not like I can confess my love to Jack all of a sudden as soon as he tells me the news like that's selfish of me you know they only have their first date this weekend it doesn't mean it's the end of the world and eventually things might not work out. This is only high school. Not every plan is going to work out how you want it to, and that's okay. There's so much of your life is left, and you can't spend it worrying about some dude or your feelings all the time. Sometimes, you just gotta let life play out how it does. And I know that's not the pep talk you wanted to hear right now, but it's all I got for you. <laughs> Thanks, Cleo. Didn't date, but we might as well have Probably shouldn't cry Cause you weren't my Boyfriend of that kind Maybe you're just nice Give me a few days Make feelings go away Do you feel the same? Do you feel the same? Hey, Bryn! Bryn! Jack, hi! Sorry, the last week or two have been sort of hectic, and I know we haven't got to chat much, and you haven't been answering any of my texts, and I just wanted to make sure you're okay, because I remember you were crying last week, and I just got really concerned, and you wouldn't answer, no, or- Yeah, no, I I'm great. I think I was just sick last week or something. I, I don't really know. <laughs> oh, well, I just want to make sure you're okay and everything, and that everything's good. McKenna's really nice, and- you two are great together, so I will always value our friendship, or whatever it was. I think there's always a part of me that felt a little different about the friendship. Bryn, what are you saying? I think there was always part of me that liked you, Jack. And now it's too late, but that's okay. 
because it's my fault. I didn't want to ruin our friendship anyways. Oh,